X-ray was the first form of medical imaging available to clinicians. Penicillin, the miracle drug of the 20th century, was the first antibiotic. Today, around 5,000 transplants are performed each year. And mapping the human genome has given us a blueprint for human life. Today, 3D printing technology is finding a host of medical applications. 3D printing can help medical application in saving time or risk or make the patient life easier or more comfortable. We actually use the technology to really create a custom-made jacket which would help the little girl to recover moving harms. 3D printing has simplified the customization of complex devices for a range of medical uses. So when you think about uh, cranial fractures, you can use 3D printing as a tool to do the uh, dry run for the surgeon without having to uh, make the patient suffer or take any risk in the operations. And now the technology is being used to create more complex structures. What we're talking about doing here is trying to make um, liver cells as an alternative to getting them from cadavers. We're trying to print them together on a scaffold to create little mini livers that could be a model for a liver for drug discovery. But going on from that, being able to create mini livers that one could put in and then take out of the body readily for purposes of helping uh, address acute liver failure. I think we are going to live in an age where there would be simple organs off the shelf available for the health service to provide. If we want to go beyond that and try to create kidneys, hearts, then I think it's going to be even longer. This is no longer going to be our generation, it's our kids' generation.